How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Good Company and welcome back to Jackmas Industries. This is our free play mode playthrough and it's going extremely well at the moment. We've nearly got a million in the bank and we're making lots of money every week. Off camera we did a little bit more research and I actually redid all of the courier routes um, because they were bugged out a little bit but also I kind of messed them up <laughs> so they're all working absolutely perfectly now. Um, production is up everywhere. Uh, especially over here at the camera drones um, they were running out of screws and mechanical parts and stuff a lot but now with the new metal workshop it's just it's just going too quick like we can't sell the products fast enough so it's all backed up here um, we're gonna sort that out soon but today we're actually gonna focus on redoing our cleaner bot production uh, so we got rid of the cleaner bot production to make room for this small case machine uh, set up I'm not entirely happy with this but we're gonna leave it for now it works like it, it works <laughs> i'm just not happy with it um so we're gonna do uh cleaner bot production in this building here and also we're going to design a new one and progress the market phases so if you do enjoy city building simulation and management games be sure to subscribe also hit the like button if you do enjoy um the video and i live stream over on twitch every sunday and monday the link to my channel is in the description so um yeah we're going to progress the phases of like everything so we're gonna progress that we're gonna progress that we're gonna progress that uh, we're gonna do that as well and we're gonna do that as well the reason for that is because you, you have to sell like a bunch of them before you can press progress the phase um, like again so I want to really try and power through the calculator cassette player and pocket computer you have to like level up uh, like seven or eight before we design a new one cleaner bot will do a brand new one now and then try and like raise that up like another two or three in, uh, until we design a new one here um, and then we'll get the robotic pipe cleaner at some point as well <laughs> still a lot to do on this game still a lot to do uh, so let's buy this building um, I've had a look in this building already um, I know I said this is just gonna be me trying to figure stuff out but I had a little bit of a plan for this one uh, just because it was a little bit complicated and uh, still a few things to work out um, so it's gonna be interesting uh, we're gonna have like an assembly room here for it and we're gonna have all the modules being made in this one you know what would be actually quite useful if we actually designed it first so we know what we're doing uh, so yeah, let's do a new cleaner bot we're gonna do plastic bot chassis keep it simple you know uh, create the product um, and well let's get designing so we need mobility, which uh, medium stepper motor is going to be more than enough processing power. Uh, we may do a programmable circuit. Yeah, that's all good. We can use uh, we can use the pick and place machines for those. Uh, data storage as well. Uh, memory bank seems good enough. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, so our last one was the clean boy, wasn't it? So let's call this the clean the clean teen. It's growing up. It's coming up. <laughs> so uh, let's finish that. Oh, I've forgotten to change the form factor as well. Uh, we'll keep it like that because it's the only one being built, isn't it? Uh, so let's uh, design this uh, assembly room. So we're going to need a pallet for things to come into. I'm actually going to do that all manual as well. Uh, just this section manual. This was going to be automatic. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've had a little bit of a design of this already. So I'm going to put a... Should I put, I'll put a medium shelf there, I think that'll look a bit nicer. And uh, we need a place for it to be sold as well, which is going to be over here. Now, I'm anticipating big uh, big production here. So I'm going to put two pallets like that and use the conveyor belts to actually transfer from one pallet to another pallet. So uh, it basically uh, gives you like double storage if you do this. So. Uh, we're going to put the clean teen on there, give it all the logistics slots and the same on this one. Uh, this, again, with the automatic logistics, this just stops these pallets uh, filling up with other stuff. Uh, it just gives you maximum logistic point thingies. Uh, it'll all make sense later, <laughs> I hope. Uh, storage segment is going to be there and then we're going to have a conveyor belt that goes from here all the way around here and it's going to transport the products to there okay uh, so we need a retrieval segment on here to take it off the shelf 
and that's going to take off the clean teen. Oh, this one's going to take off that as well. And then that's going to have all them slots on there. Okay. Uh, we now need to redo these logistic zones so it's not interfering with our um, with our automatic logistics. So I'm going to put the conveyor belt in its own work zone. Well, add it to this work zone here. And then these two are going to be in that work zone as well. Uh, I'm actually going to extend those as well just so it's a little bit neater. Yeah, so that's that is that. Um, the assembly zone, let's get down on this. So I want like four tables. Uh, so I came up with like a little design here, which I think is very good, if I do say so myself. Um, so I'll go like that. Uh, and then each of these is going to get a medium shelf to put the end product on and then a small shelf to get the um, get the actual modules off and also we have space for a fifth table there if we really need it so let's do clean teen clean teen clean teen and clean teen and let's get those on there like that so that's going to go to that so they're going to take the modules of this one and put the final product on that one and then from there it's going to go over to there that uh, will give those all the logistics slots as well and they're going to get the they're going to get these from this palette here like that and we can give those like uh, so we can give those some extra slots as well in fact yeah, let's uh, let's do it like this, right? So we'll do medium stepper. Hang on, let's um, let's do it a little bit differently, just so it's a little bit neater. So we're gonna do medium stepper, wherever that's gone. We'll give them uh, three slots, and then we're gonna need the bot chassis. We're gonna need the memory bank, right? there and we're gonna need oh what's the last thing the programmable circuit isn't it yeah that's it so that's gonna be that link those up again make sure we got the logistics slots all working properly And then from here, from these shelves, they're going to go onto that shelf over there. Oh, there we go. And be transported over to these to be sold. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> right, that's the assembly room done. Now we need to actually think about the thing here. So we're going to do a courier pallet for materials coming in. Um, I don't know what materials we're going to need. Um, also, we're going to need one for modules as well, aren't we? Well, they could probably be combined onto two. Uh, onto one, in fact. Uh, so, yeah, let's get our pick and place machines out. I'm, I'm going to put them down here. So, this is going to make simple circuits. It's going to make programmable. And, again, simple and programmable. You don't actually need a... A conveyor belt between the machines they will just go automatically from one to the other which is pretty decent um, we're also gonna do uh, so yeah that should start getting stuff in yeah uh, so we need let's have a look yeah that's good you know what actually we are gonna need another courier pallet so we're gonna put the modules on this one so let's get modules off that one And we'll do we can't delete those for some reason rule cannot be deleted because it has been created automatically however we can delete these ones it's fine we'll uh, we'll, we'll go with it we'll go with it right oh i've, I've wandered over here <laughs> okay let's um get the next thing going uh so we need uh, what, what are we going to make next? We're going to make the... Let's make the memory bank next. We're going to need four tables, maybe? Five? 
Yeah, we could do six tables. We could definitely do six tables. I feel like down here would be good for it. Maybe up one. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm wondering actually, we could put them, put them there, right? And then have another table like that. And then can we fit another one in over here? Yeah, we can. If I just move out of the way quickly. So that could be a six, six table. No, I think six tables are a bit overkill, you know. I'll just do two tables. Uh, let's do, uh, well, we need four tables, right? So. So we'll do that. Then if we really need to, we can add like another one there and another one there. Yeah, that will work, won't it? Will it work? I don't know. Let's have a quick look if it'll work. No, nah, it, it won't work. <laughs> it won't work. It was, a good, it was a nice thought, but it won't work for that. I mean, it, it could. We could do a little. Uh, I'm. I'm literally going off on a tangent. No one cares. <laughs> let's. Uh, let's just get these being built right. Uh, memory bank just needs those. Memory bank. Memory bank. And memory bank. Let's hire these people as well. While we're at it. And we'll get a couple on the, uh, I say a couple, I'm going to put 10 on there. Always, I always like over, over hyping the old logistics. Over hyping is not the right terminology for that, but we'll go with it. Um, I'm actually going to start a courier route now. So we're going to have metal coming over. So it's going to be those two going onto there. And we'll add an employee on that one. And this is going to be the... Uh, the, the cleaner bot uh, metal delivery. And then we're going to do another route. And it's going to visit both of these and then over here. And that's going to be the cleaner bot comp delivery okay so that's our two routes and then another one from here oh from here to here that's going to be our um that is going to be our uh cleaner module delivery okay so that's that's all the courier routes set up i'm actually going to let a well, I need to add a rule on here for the memory bank and delete the memory bank one off here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we can actually delete these now because we don't need those. We just want modules on this one. So I'm going to do four there. I'm going to do four for that one, four for the other one, and then four for the other one. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Again, we probably should pro put more. Let's go four and four and three. We'll see what we can do with that. Um, everything should come over soon. Uh, let's have a think about uh, the next thing we need. We need um, uh, the medium stepper motor. Here we go. Let's do that. Can we do that on the mechanics workbench? Yeah, we can. So I'm going to do the same design uh, like here. So I like this two tables and then a, a shelf like that. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Very good. I like it. Also, no walking time between each of them as well. So that's good. So we want four tables making medium stepper motors. I'll just keep doing that. Actually, you know what? That's a medium. That needs a small stepper motor, doesn't it? So let's do, we'll do small stepper motors there and a medium stepper motor there so they can, you both use the same shelf. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Uh, so what, we'll higher and higher that. Higher on there and higher on there. Um, there's a, I don't know, should we block that door off? I don't know where else we could put the 
put the uh, tables and we could move them down one. I really don't know if we want to block off anything. I'll move them down one for now. We are blocking that hole now, but I don't think we're going to be sending anything out there. Um, we may be sending stuff through here eventually, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, let's continue that down. And then we're going to need another one as well, like that. Small and medium. So that's all good. Let's hire some people on there as well. Now, what have we got turning up on here? We have programmable circuits turning up on there, which is good. We need to add on here medium motor, don't we? Give that four slots. They are being made. Okay, it's a miracle. It's an actual miracle. Uh, screws. Oh, hang on. We do need... Hang on, let's take some of these off. Uh, that one we don't need on there. And we don't need that on there. Put two on for that. Two on for that. Two on for the metal as well. Ideally, I would like... One just having uh, components and stuff on, and one just having materials coming in. That's what I would like, but I can't. I, I it's going to take too long to sort that out because we we'll have to redo all this over here as well. Um, it's all good though. Uh, they're running out of circuit board, uh, integrated circuits, and circuit boards. But I'm guessing. Let's have a look on here. No errors. What? Uh, whatsoever probably just a case of bringing stuff over yeah look, lo lots of stuff just came over there so i i didn't notice but each of these logistics employees can carry 20 uh, 20 stacks of stuff so uh, they can bring over a lot of things they could bring up a whole pallet over if they really wanted to um so that's that the next thing i think i think the last thing isn't it so we're making them, we're making them, we're making them. It's just the uh, plastic pot chassis, right? That's filling up nicely. Um, I don't know if you can keep hearing that noise, but something keeps disconnecting from my computer and reconnecting, and I have no idea what it is. Um, so I apologize for the uh, little Microsoft that sounds. Um, so yeah, let's uh, do the last thing then, which is the plastic case, which we can do on a precision workbench. Now I'd like, I would like it, actually, can we do it here? Is there going to be enough space? Oh, there is enough space for that. Oh my god, that's actually incredible. Look at that, absolutely stunning. I think we're just missing plastic, plastic parts from over here, but there is a logistics slot for it. Is there? No, there isn't actually, is there? This is why I say we probably need... Actually, you know what? I could buy on here, you know. So what is that actually buying? It's buying... Electronic parts, metal and plastic. So, yeah, let's do... Oh, no, we need... Hey, what am I doing? We've got that, that... Oh, well, we need the uh, plastic case there, don't we? So no plastic cases go on there. That's in the wrong place. Okay, now that's added a logistics slot for that. So we'll add one for that. Okay, that's all good. It should it should work. <laughs> it should work. Oh, plastic sundries now. Oh. I'm wondering if I should move these over one. Maybe we should move them over one. Uh, I'm actually going to just extend the zone. Just so I can fit another pallet in. And try and figure it all out. 
So I'll extend that like that. Extend that down like that as well. Okay, so that's good. Like that, like that. And then erase this work zone. Extend this work zone. And I'm wondering if we can still sell. Yeah, we can still sell from this one. It's halfway in the uh, works in the um, in the delivery zone, so we can sell it, which is good. And we can also squeeze another one in here. So actually, I want to put I'm going to put that one here. I'm going to put this one here. Okay, and that's going to do the materials ordering. And where's the just make it a little bit neater so they're next to each other. Gonna need plastic. And we're gonna need electronic parts as well. And then we can get those off of here. So we can bin that off. Bin that and bin that. And that gives us a little bit more room for other things. So Yeah, I think that I think that's looking alright, you know take those off as well um yeah let's actually put another one for that we've got three more slots so let's do that that and that okay so hopefully i want to see i want to see how much stuff this person here brings over saying that there's not a lot of stuff on here i'm gonna again next episode we're probably gonna redo this whole room uh to up production like massively because i think that's what's holding us back at the moment like i want to double like output of everything basically maybe not sundries i was thinking maybe put sundries over to this side into the metal workshop but yeah a lot of stuff has come over which is good um plastic uh, what's that? Missing supply base. Oh, we need to put a buy order on, don't we? Let's whack those on there as well. Okay, so stuff is finally stacking up here. I'm going to let it all stack up to the max until... Yeah, let it all stack up to the max. Which hopefully shouldn't be too long. We've got four cases coming. We've got some coming over here. Do we need more logistics employees? I don't know. In fact, I'm not going to let it stack up to the max. I'm going to put some logistics employees on there already. I want six. Because I want to see this in action. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. And these guys should. I, I hope this works. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we've got our first clean team coming down this way along the conveyor belt. It's going on to there. It should be picked up from here. Okay. It's not because it's like, like that. Okay, so it's now going over. As you can see, it's taking it from there and putting it in that one. So it's like doubling the amount of capacity we have to sell without us doing anything, which is fantastic. So, oh, we sold some there. It looks like we're doing well on stuff. Yeah, there's loads of stuff, loads of stuff on all of those, which is really good. I'm actually very pleased with that. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that indeed. Um, again, I think the component thing is really letting us down at the moment. So that is going to be a thing. I'm going to sort. I'm going to sort it out next episode. All right, we're going to sort it out eventually. Um, oh, not eventually. Finally, that's what I should say. Um, oh, whatever you got on here. Oh, no, it's just an error for that courier pallet thing. I realized we didn't do any research that um, uh, that episode. So I'm going to whack down some more research. We've got tier 9. Working through the tier 9 stuff. So let's do the lightweight bot chassis. Um, it looks like advancing the markets as well didn't really do anything to our uh, sales and all that, you know. Well, it did. Obviously, it did. It obviously reduced sales, but our money is still really high. 
which is good. How many are we going to be selling this every week as well? Let's have a look. The clean team, 26. Oh, we sold the most we can. Now, this is where they start running out of stuff. <laughs> oh, God, look at that. Look at them stacks. Mad stacks. Let's see how much money this actually brings in for us. So it's 22,000. And then the other one was like 9,000. So a lot of money, basically. A lot of money. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that. We're literally selling as many as we can of the cleaner bot every week. So that's good. Um, and that is that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, remember to press the like button. Um, any questions, suggestions, or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. If you do enjoy city building, simulation, and management games, be sure to subscribe. And uh, I live stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday. The link to my channel is in the description. Uh, but as always, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.